Welcome back again to YouTube. This is Nick the Kid here with another video. So in this video, I'm going to be covering my basic tips for proper tire maintenance. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button down below to help support my channel. And I will be planning on doing a cold start video on my high mileage Mazda 3. This is a 2012 high mileage Mazda 3 that I have. Got it since it was brand new and it has now over 225,000 miles. So I will be doing an updated cold start video and then I'll be doing like an overview video as well. So please stay tuned for that if you're interested. So we're going to be covering proper tire maintenance. These are just tips that I think that are going to be important and helpful for you. All right, so first and foremost with tire pressure, to be able to check your tire pressure properly, you have to have a tire gauge. It's kind of uh, pretty important, but um, you can get them at any, uh, you can get them at Walmart, whatever, any auto parts place, any auto parts store. So to first and foremost understand about your tire, you have to have the proper size and proper tire pressure for your vehicle. So to know that you have to open up your door jam, there's going to be a sticker on the uh, paneling of your door jam that's going to tell you the size of your tire that you need for the front, the rear, um, and your donut. So it's going to tell you the tire size that you need and the proper PSI or you know, proper uh, pounds per square inch that you need to be filled for each uh, each of the tires. So check the door jam for that information. And um, so first and foremost that I like to talk about would be the outside of the tire. You're just going to want to check for any like rock chips, any gouges, any uh, divots or anything, and any leaks that might be uh, on your car so you would just check for any of that check for nails anything like that so it's just basic uh, overview of how does the tire look you know are you getting cracks on the side of your tires and that might mean that your tires are getting old and then um, any check for any nails or rock chips or anything like that Another thing that I like to do is I flatten my hand out. I feel the tread wear all around the tire. Make sure that there isn't any uh, bumps that I feel, which which might indicate that you have uneven tread wear on your tire, which might have like a rolling thud sound when you're driving, you know, an odd sound. If you roll down the window and you hear like this odd thud sound while you're driving, that just means that you have probably a either a misalignment on your car or more than likely just a abnormal uh, tread wear depth on an interior or exterior part of your tire that's causing that warping. And sometimes it can warp on the inside, warp on the middle, or it can warp on the exterior side of the tire. So check that for any kind of warping, any signs of cracks or any kind of leaks or anything. And what I like to do is I usually am kind of uh, particular about this car. I keep a lot of good maintenance on it. And I usually check my tire pressure at least once a month just, you know, just as a safety precaution and a safety measure for my car while I'm driving because I drive a lot of miles on this car. Um, so I just check it once a month. A lot of times I just kind of have to fill up maybe two, three PSI about an average of two to three psi a month which isn't bad at all it's typical um but with the changing in the weather especially like in the winter months your tires are going to be you know converting over to to being cold all the time so you're going to have a lot of tire pressure you might have a significant drop in your psi so don't be really too worried about that but just keep up to date and make sure that your tire pressures are all proper tires on each one and if you have one particular tire like for instance i had my rear left passenger or rear driver's side tire leak um it was about maybe about a month ago now where i was checking it do my normal monthly maintenance check and i realized that it was dropping about 
8 to 10 PSI per month. So I was a little concerned about that. Reason being is because all three of the other tires were exactly the same tire pressure besides that one tire. So I took it to my mechanic. We did the different tests. So the one test that you could do is get a wet washcloth with some bubbly water and just suds up your whole tire. Check for leaks because then it's going to blah, 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 blah. It's going to start bubbling up on you in the spot where it has that leak. So that's a one way to do it. You could dunk your tire in a tank, check for air pockets there that bubble up, and you could find the leak. You could remove this, you could remove the tire completely from the wheel and look on the interior with the flashlight and look in the interior and see if there's anything poking through the tire. You could find it out that way. Um, but the one way that we found that was the leak, the problem to the leak on that one was actually the wheel itself had some chipping on that inner uh the inner lip of the there's going to be like a little lift on that inner lip of this where it meets this meets the tire and the rubber the tire the metal and the rubber to seal well that seal was slightly cracked from here it was like chipping and wearing down so what it was it was forming the slightest bit of a gapping between the rubber and the metal and that's what was causing that minor, 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 slow, slow, slow leak on that tire. But what my mechanic did is we removed the tire itself completely from the wheel. We grinded down and smoothed down that metal surface on the exterior lip and the interior lip on the wheel. Slapped that goo stuff back on the tire, slapped it back on, filled it up. I checked for about a two week monitoring on it perfectly fine not an issue at all and that's what resolved the issue on my leaking tires so if you guys have a slow leaking tire that might be the cause of your problem so might want to get that checked out so another thing so like i said i covered chips cracks checking your tread wear for any cracks and stuff like that so that's that side of the maintenance and while you're driving your vehicle if you feel some sort of odd or you hear some side, some sorry, some sort of odd sound, like a thud sound, while you're coming to a stop or while you're at a high rate of speed. It could be due to warping, excessive warping on your tire. So it might be to under inflation or over inflation of your tire. So that could cause warping. Another thing that could cause warping on your tire is a misalignment. Your car needs to be aligned. All all sides all four tires need to be aligned because if you don't have an alignment on your car it could cause that warping on an interior or maybe the middle or maybe the exterior part of your car and maybe you might even have some wobbling like this very minute but you might have some wobbling in your tire like if you drive down the highway you see some of these tires that are looking looking like this vibrating a lot that's a misalignment and that could cause you severe damage cause you an accident or even worse and you don't want that so to prevent that you need to go get those things fixed you need an alignment alignment usually costs around a hundred bucks so it is kind of expensive but a lot of times you only need probably one one or two alignments in the lifetime of your vehicle unless you excessively drive your car a lot or you go into a lot of potholes run over a lot of railroad tracks all the time you have a lot of a lot of movement with your car like that and a lot of different uh traction and stuff that you wrote different types of road surfaces that you go on over a long period of time you're probably going to need an alignment sometime down the road so check that out so again check your tire pressure all of that Just check for any uh abnormal sounds or uh abnormal leaks that you might have on your car and fix those leaks as soon as you possibly can Try to find out the problem and get those fixed because in the long run, it's going to help you and it's going to save you gas on your tires. You have good tire pressure. It's going to help your gas efficiency just a smidge, just a little bit. Um, but yeah, those are some tips there. Another tip too, while you're traveling or, or when you're doing your regular maintenance too, you might as well maybe once a year probably... Go ahead, pop up your trunk or wherever it's at. Check your donut. Your donut has a different uh, PSI rating than your regular tires. 
um, it has a really, really high tire pressure. So just uh, be aware of that. So check that as well while you're doing your other tire checks. Wouldn't hurt to do that. Um, especially while you're traveling, you might end up needing to have your donut. And if you have a donut that's flat, you don't want that issue. So be aware of that as well. So I hope that these are uh, pertinent tips that could help you guys. And again, I'm pretty meticulous about the maintenance on this vehicle. Um, I will be going over and covering a good review on this car a little bit later on. I probably will do a review on it tomorrow and I also want to do a straight cold start video. Probably going to do a cold start video after this video is uploaded. So stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed these tips. I hope they were helpful. Hit that like button and hit that subscribe button down below. Thank you guys for watching.